amplitude. You should be familiar with the graphs of sine and cosine and with transformations of graphs. Specifically, you should know how to make graphs taller or shorter by adjusting the equation. In this lesson, we will give a definition of the amplitude of a wave, find the amplitude from the graph of a wave and write the equation, and also go in the opposite direction. Given the equation, graph the wave. Recall the basic sine wave. It has x-intercepts at 0, pi, 2 pi, etc. It reaches its high point at pi over 2 and its low point at 3 pi over 2. The tops of the waves are at a height of 1 and the bottoms of the waves are at a depth of negative 1. The length of one wave is 2 pi. The red wave here goes through the pattern middle, top, middle, bottom, middle from 0 to 2 pi. The wave then repeats this pattern from 2 pi to 4 pi, then repeats again and again both to the left and to the right. The standard sine wave goes up to a maximum value of 1 and down to a minimum value of negative 1. The distance from the midline to the top is called the amplitude, so y equals sine of x has an amplitude of 1. The amplitude could also be measured by taking half of the distance from the top of the wave to the bottom of the wave. We will now look at ways that we can modify our wave graphs. The first modification will be to multiply the sine value by a constant, in this case a. Recall that a multiplier of the output of the function value will stretch the graph vertically so that the graph will be taller. In this case, the waves will be taller. The sine wave still goes through the middle, top, middle, bottom, middle pattern from 0 to 2 pi, but the tops of the waves are higher and the bottoms of the waves are lower. How does the graph of y equals 2 times the sine of x compare to the graph of y equals the sine of x? You may wish to pause the video here and draw the wave yourself. The waves in y equals 2 times the sine of x go up to 2 and down to negative 2. They are twice as tall as usual. The amplitude is 2. In red is a graph whose waves go up to a height of 5 and down to a depth of negative 5. Is it a sine wave? Yes. The x-intercepts are the usual 0, pi, 2 pi, etc. It repeats every 2 pi. The wave reaches its peak at pi over 2. It is merely a sine wave that is 5 times as tall as usual. What is its equation? The amplitude is 5, so the equation is y equals 5 times the sine of x. If the multiplier is negative, the wave will be reflected across the x-axis. In other words, the graph will be flipped top to bottom. The graph of y equals negative sine of x is the graph of y equals the sine of x flipped top to bottom, so that from 0 to pi over 2, the wave goes down rather than up. We still say the amplitude is 1. The graph of y equals negative 3 times the sine of x will have an amplitude of 3, reach its low point of negative 3 at pi over 2, return to 0 at pi, reach its high point of 3 at 3 pi over 2, and return to 0 at 2 pi. Given a graph, can we find the equation? First, is this a sine wave? Sine waves begin in the middle when x is 0. Therefore, this is not a sine wave. Cosine waves begin at the top when x equals 0. This wave begins at the bottom. So this is a cosine wave that has been reflected across the x-axis. That is, it has been flipped top to bottom. This is a negative cosine wave. The amplitude is 4. Therefore, the equation is y equals negative 4 cosine of x. To recap, you should now be able to draw the graph of a sine or cosine wave multiplied by a constant, perhaps a negative constant. If the amplitude is a, then the peaks have a height of a and the valleys have a depth of negative a. If you are given the graph of a wave, you should determine whether it is a sine wave or a cosine wave. At x equals 0, sine waves will be in the middle of the wave at y equals 0. 
cosine waves will be at the top of the wave if positive and at the bottom of the wave if negative. You can then determine the amplitude by measuring the distance from the middle of the wave to the top.